tra la la pom pom diga diga do Here's a question just for you Fuddle duddle diddle dee u p i u Where, who, when, which, why, how, and who If that's asking such a lot Shroomp up a piddly pom tick tack tot Then just simply Guess what? Guess what? Guess who what? Ba, 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 ba. With Jan Rubesh. I got a letter from our library, and I wonder what it says. I wasn't in the library for quite a while. Dear sir, the book Songs of Many Lands is overdue. Please return it as soon as possible or contact your librarian. There was a beautiful songbook. Oh, there it is. Oh, there were so many good songs I want to, to learn how to sing. Here is one from Denmark. Oh, you got to hear this one. It's from Denmark, and that is the country of Hans Christian Andersen. And this is a really very silly song. It goes like this. Pofek and the hunger, the skunt mallory, the lin and the cafe met cognacki. Pofek and the skunt, the skunt mallory, Paulin and the cafe met cognacki. La 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 well, I don't speak Danish, and neither do you, but I know what it songs me song means. It's very silly. It says something like this. I've never heard sillier song than this. It tells you a story of love and bliss, as sweet as the Danish you see on the wall, in a picture with black coffee and that's all. La 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 now I can take the book back to the library or I will pay a fine. In the old days, people didn't have books like these. Uh, but they had libraries. And do you know what was the most important thing to have if you wanted to be a librarian? You had to have muscles, right? You see, people did not know how to make paper in the old days. And what did they use? In the land of the pyramids in Egypt, they used clay tablets. I can show it to you with some plasticine I have here. Clay tablets look something like this, right? And then they didn't use pencil or pen. They didn't have them. They used just little wooden sticks. And they just wrote these letters. They call them cunei. Very old writing. And the finished tablet would look something like this. Actually, it would look more something like this, because they were quite big, you see? Now, but this was only one page. Now, if you wanted to have a big, oh, 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 oh. I ruined my Egyptian writing. But this could not happen in Egypt. You see, when they finished with the clay tablets, they put it into the oven, or they left it in the sun, and the clay tablet would harden. And the librarians, they stack it up like this, and one book would be a stack as big as this. And the poor librarian had to carry it around. No wonder they had big muscles, and no wonder sometimes they were very tired. And it might have happened that one day a tired librarian was resting at the bank of the River Nile. Well, he was so tired carrying those clay tablets. He was just sitting there exhausted, watching the sailboats going downstream. And suddenly he thought, those white sails, they would be something to ride on. And these sails are very light because they are made of the papyrus plant. 
And guess what? Right around him, there were stalks of papyrus plants. And what did he do? Well, he started to examine this papyrus plant. He would cut a piece of it, cut it up, and it was all beautifully white. And he would stack up these little pieces of papyrus plant together and he pounded them. And then he took it home. And little by little, the people of Egypt learned to make beautiful white sheets out of the papyrus plant. They pounded the stalks together, and at the end, this is how it looked. And they could now write not with uh, little pieces of wood, but they used ink and little brushes and they would write something like this. I don't know how to write in Egyptian. But when they finished writing a page on the papyrus sheet, they just rolled it like this and they called it a scroll, you see? So their library did not look like our library today. It looked more like this, a shelf book full of scrolls. And since I'm now in the Egyptian library, why don't I sing you an Egyptian song? Going like this. <laughs> Zemen hege je gej, bariš me je gej bela plehake, gej bela plehake. Gej me ma aj hašel pa fiha, u izem bata bitl kvak kvak kvak, bitl kvak kvak kvak. Stop your squealing smiles are more appealing. Look at his book, book, book. Look at his book, book, book. See this gray goose and her old man, Papa Gander, going quack, quack, quack. Going quack, quack, quack. 